I'm just excited, you know. I've never fought overseas. I feel like I'm banging like the West End of Paris, you know, it's quite busy. And yeah, man, I'm just looking forward to Saturday. What about the opportunity to become European champion? You've done it the traditional way, the yes. traditional route, what it means to you to get that European title. Yeah, it'll mean a lot. Like you said, um, I've done the traditional route and the EBU's a traditional belt. It's been around for like ages, over a hundred years. You've got people like uh, Matt Schmeling, who's been the champion for the EBU belt at light heavy as well. Um, uh, you've got people like John Conte. Yeah, and I just want to be added amongst the list, man. There's so many people who've won the EBU and gone on to, you know, world honours and gone on to be legends and yeah that's the trajectory i'm just trying to go down you're gonna have to beat a frenchman in france yeah in the heart of paris it's not an easy assignment at all but you're full of confidence that timing is everything and this is your time yeah no for sure and it just keeps me on my toes like i've been saying it i like to have to you know go to enemy ter territory i don't want to be comfortable at all it just gives me that edge and um, yeah, I just don't think anything can stop me, whether I'm here or in Mars, you know, I'm bringing that EBU back to London. Thomas Four is um, your opponent. There's not too much of him on, uh, online to yep. study, but he's tall, long, rangy, very similar to what you've done in the past, um, you know, that sort of opponent. Yeah, no, for sure. But, um, you know, he's former EBU champion before, so I've got to give him that respect. And I don't know what to expect of him. There's not been much online that I can find of him. And I just like to try and cover all aspects. So he could come in and box in, in range. He could try and be long. I don't know, but I just want to be able to, you know, deal with whatever comes. That Marvin Hagler throwback mentality you have, you know, you, you have a tribute to him in terms of the, the shorts and the high socks, but it's yes. not a gimmick. You know? that destruct and destroy mentality is something that you're bringing on Saturday? Yeah, no, for sure. I'm going to have to, do you know what I mean? I'm going to have to. And um, it's that's what makes a fight and all these steps and levels I've had to come across, that's what's made me and moulded me. And, you know, I look back at his career and he had to go through hoops, hell and back. So, you know, um, mine is just on a smaller scale, so I, I should be able to deal with it. Mark Gillespie, Buddy McGurk, Joshua Buatzi, who we've met up with out here, they're all yeah. saying if you do what you do behind closed doors, that it will be a destructive performance, it will be an explosive performance. And they've trained you and worked with you yep. to win by stoppage. Do you believe that you can win by stoppage, that you will win by stoppage? Yeah, I can do. We'll see. You know, I'm not someone to predict. Um, you don't know until the bell goes, but I'm looking for an exciting fight. That's what I'm looking for, an exciting fight. Yeah. Coming up the hard way, coming up the small hall circuit, sometimes I think you're a little bit of a reluctant superstar, but you're there now. <laughs> How does it feel to be, you know, in the limelight, under those bright lights? Everybody is talking about Dan Aziz now. You know, there's the, the WBA rankings and the talk of the Aziz yeah. fights. It's the world title level fights which are in, in touching distance now. Yeah. I don't know about being a superstar, but yeah, like, you know, I'm, I'm quite relevant. I'm getting talked about, um, but that's just because I'm fighting, do you know what I mean? I'm a fighter and that's what you should do. Like, there's no point, you know, calling yourself a boxer and, you know, you're fighting every year or so. You know, I like to be active, I like to be busy. And that's one thing I've got to thank Ben Shalom and Boxer for. That's one of the things I said, you know, I want to be busy, man. And they've kept me very, very active. You got all those belts, you ready for one more? You ready to hear and the new? That's it, and the new! Come on. <laughs>